Hello, hello, and welcome to the beginning of the Flower and Garden Festival here in Epcot. I'm going to try to do something a bit different to maybe take a deeper look into the festival this year. I'm going to break the videos down into areas of the park and try one or two items from each cart. Hopefully this goes well. We're starting today in what I call Future World. World Nature, all these names confuse me. Let's do this to this. I mean, come on, who doesn't love baby duck content? We're starting off today with the chicken and waffles, crispy honey brine chicken, and honey sweet cornbread waffle. I'm tucked in my favorite place in Epcot. I don't think this is edible with a fork. So we're just gonna eat a piece of chicken first. Peep that flaky salt. This is really good chicken. Surprisingly good chicken. That honey sauce is so good. It's a little bit spicy. Time for the honey sweet bread corn waffle. Oh no. Looks like there's craisins in it. It's very smoky. Very good though. I like it. Escaping the heat for a little bit. Going into the sea with Nemo and friends. It's dark. I neglected to remember that today is daylight savings. And that even though my clock says it's 3.30, it's actually 2.30, which means the sun is gonna be up a lot longer than I anticipated. So I'm just gonna take my time. The festival booths are scattered about the whole world showcase and inside, so we'll hit them all, or at least most of them. But the decor for this year is really cute. I mean, who doesn't love Figment? These terrariums are so cute. I might end up with one by the end of the year. And this dish, ugh. love it, love it all. The Crocs! Little price list. Here we have the cucumber watermelon slushy. I got mine with chin because adults. I don't know if I filmed anything, but this is the watermelon slushy with gin and cucumber. It looks like it has chunks in it, and you will be able to tell right away by my face if this is the case. I put a straw in it because the gin was rather heavy, so I had to mix it up. Not 100% of that's ice chunks or chunks of watermelon. Either way, 
That is a delicious drink. It comes with a piece of watermelon on top, but since I don't like to eat fruit, I said, like, bypass that. Save your fruit for somebody else. But I will say this is delectable. It is so refreshing. Summer drink, 100%. I will be getting this again. We're getting rid of the harmonious stuff or starting to take it down. These guys are all out there working on the barges. While we're sharing, I broke, I broke the zipper on my bag. If you pull too hard, they tend to tear. This one did not make it. So I bought, I bought a little keychain of Rapunzel to fix it. Work smarter, not harder. Okay, I miss the imagination decor, but I guess this works too. Also, look at this fish just hanging out in the lake. It's huge. So inside the Odyssey, you have quite the collection of orange bird paraphernalia. I have to say he is a cute little guy. You can also get the sipper in here with the orange lemon shake slash smoothie situation. Again, I miss figment, but orange bird does okay for himself. He's so cute. Got a little hat. Orange bird tank top, which I always ask for. This is really cute, actually. I love these setups that they have. I wish there was an orange bird meet and greet here. Disney. Oh, lounge fly. I thought that was 3D. Puppies. And the trash cans. Okay, we have orange sesame tempura shrimp with orange chili sauce. Delicious. And we have the uh, orange lemon shake slash smoothie. Excited. I feel like I'm talking really loud. I'm gonna try the little prawns. These are so good. The sauce is so good. Let's try the smoothie. That's all you need to know. It's delicious. It's kind of like creamsicle, but maybe there's like lemon in it. But it's more orangey. It's very good. It's very good. Definitely we'll get that again. Get that. I'm gonna finish my prawns and we will continue on. succulent figment and his cute little wooden accents. I love it. He's so cute. They make him better every year. Okay, so the ride has broken down and I'm taking note of all these funny little notes on the pipes. I never really noticed before, but now that I've been sitting here for about five minutes, I can't not see them. Yeah, char grilled bison with creamy leek fondue, red wine, butter sauce, and whipped, whipped red wine goat cheese. As I dig into bison meat, this is actually really good. The meats are super tender. The bison meat is really good, even though it looks very scary. Red wine butter sauce. Yes, delicious. Mmm. This gets a 10 out of 10. Bison is delicious. I'm sorry, buffalo, I love you. When a little ham, we got the Lox Benedict on everything focaccia, fried cinnamon roll bites, and a fruit loop shake because they're delicious. The sun is behind me, but that's all right. The internet will be fine if it can't see my face. <laughs> what happened.
happens when you eat breakfast at 5.30 at night. It's rough, but it's good. That's a thick piece of salmon. I don't know how I feel about this 100%. It's got the makings of being really good, but it's very poorly put together. And I wish it was thinner and easier to eat. If it was Sunday morning and it was breakfast time, and I could eat this with one hand, perfecto. And it'll be alright. I'm gonna eat a donut. It's so it's so heavy feeling. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. No. It is really, really sweet, and it's really thin dough, and it is very full of cream. And I don't like filled donuts, but like it's good, so you want to keep eating it. <laughs> but I don't like the texture of it. That's not bad. So don't let that stop you from eating. It's also not my first time having this. It's delicious, as per usual. Take me away, Fruit Loop Shake, from this world. I have that reflection light coming off of Trust Track, and I can only kind of see myself. And let me tell you, I think I look really good. I can see the outline of myself. It's like professional photo stuff. Today it was fun in future world trying all the treats. No better way to end the night than a good ride on Spaceship Earth. Bye, science girl.